Hey there everyone, BradyBot here, and I'm going to show off another hand that I played in a robot match point event. Uh, I wasn't planning on making a video about this hand, because I think the robots could and should have done a little better defensively on this one. But because I got so many likes and people really enjoyed my last video, note, if you really enjoy these videos, make sure to drop a like and I'll make more of them. Uh, I decided to add this one to the collection as well. This features kind of an unusual squeeze, um, but more so the point of this video is going to be about using proper declare play techniques so that you can reach these end positions that give you an op opportunity to actually collect extra tricks um, if the opponents are not careful in their defense. So the bidding on this one, very simple. We open a no trump in fourth seat. Important to note that both opponents are past hands, so they're limited in terms of the high card capabilities that they can have. Our partner's past hand raises to three no trump, and that passes out. We get the king and clubs lead, and we see this dummy. So off the top, we do have seven tricks. We have the ace of clubs, three diamonds, and three spades. Now, all four suits offer the possibility for an extra trick. Clubs, we can just naturally force out the queen jack of clubs, and if we have enough entries to the dummy, we'll be able to set up an extra trick in that suit. Diamonds and spades could split. Spades is even a little better, where we have this ten of spades, and even the eight of spades could come into play in certain scenarios. Like if West has, for example, nine double ten of spades, we could play the ace and king, unblocking the ten, and then cross to dummy and take a spade finesse to collect four tricks in that suit. And hearts, of course, are most wide open suit, but if West has the ace of hearts, we can take a heart finesse. Now, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the first couple of tricks. I, I will briefly talk about what, uh, what my thought process was immediately, and my first instinct was, well, I kind of want to try and set up a club trick. Because I think if West wins the second round of clubs, so play ace of clubs, ten of clubs, if West is able to win this trick, then it's going to be very hard for them to realize that switching to hearts is correct. I mean, for all they know, they're looking at basically the same holding in hearts and diamonds in the dummy. And if West has heart honors, that might look less appealing to lead from, as opposed to something like three small diamonds. Um, so for that reason, I think going after clubs makes sense. Now, I didn't give a lot of uh, consideration to the possibility of ducking the opening lead, and I think there's a lot of merit to that. West King of Clubs lead is very likely from a pretty strong club holding, like King Queen Jack, for example. From King Queen Fourth, they might have led low. Uh, additionally, one of the main problems is that if I am winning the Ace of Clubs and exit a club, I need two more dummy entries to be able to set up and cash that fourth round of clubs. The King of Diamonds is one, but if West really has King, Queen, Jack at clubs, how likely are they to have the Ace of Hearts as a passed hand? That would already be ten high card points. They would have to be completely barren in all the other suits. Unlikely, but possible. So maybe a bit of a mistake to win the Ace of Clubs because you know, we have the option of ducking this trick, winning the second round, and then using the Diamond King, or just crossing to our hand and leading a club, planning on taking a really deep finesse, hoping West has all of the club honors. But I elected to win the Ace of Clubs, and I was rewarded on this hand when on the second round of the suit, I led the 10, East won the Jack, and West showed out. Now the hand becomes very interesting, because we originally were planning for West to have all of the club honors, a long club suit, maybe the Ace of Hearts is offside. It's starting to look a bit more like West could have some shape like 4441, or some five card suit that they really didn't want to lead. Unlikely, but possible. So East won the Jack of Clubs, note that West pitched the two of hearts and we get the five of spades switch. So first things first, we're going to win this trick. There's no reason to take a spade finesse here. If East happens to have jack fourth of spades and queen jack sixth of clubs, hats off to them for finding this defense. We were never going to read it anyway. 
Um, and the suite I chose to win was the king. I think the king is probably the most deceptive card I can play here. West probably expects me to have most of the high spades, given you know the no trump opener and their partner not switching to a, to a high spade or something like that. Um, so if I had the ace and king of spades, I would definitely be playing one of the ace or king. I wouldn't like duck this around to the 10, just being very hopeful. Uh, if I had the king and queen of spades, I would be playing one of those cards. And if I had just the ace and queen of spades, I would definitely not be winning the ace or the queen or playing one of those cards on this trick, I would be playing low. Um, so if I'm going to win a high spade, it feels like the king is the most deceptive. It can make West think that I have possibly ace-king, possibly king-queen, um, maybe ace-king-queen, something like that. West plays the seven. The opponents do play standard carding. And I fall low from the dummy. The next thing I want to do is kind of get a sense of what's going on in the diamond suit. I mean, I have a suspicion that West is 4441 exactly in shape, uh, because it feels very weird to not lead a five card suit against three no trump. Then again, I mean, leading the singleton king of clubs is not something you would encounter or expect to find from any player, so something unusual is happening already. But I do want to get, get count in the diamond suit. The opponents are very likely to give me true diamond count if I lead the queen to the next trick. So I led the queen of diamonds. West followed with the five. And here we make one of the most important plays in the hand. We unblock the eight of diamonds. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, oh, this is crazy. Like, why does it matter whether we play the eight or the three? And I want you to pause and remember this moment as we get towards the end of the play later. But we've unblocked the eight of diamonds, um, and east follows with before. Now the fact that the two diamonds doesn't show up strongly indicates to me that diamonds are not splitting. Uh, it looks actually very likely to me that west has played the five, planning to give some sort of like high-low count signal from a holding like jack nine five deuce, or 10-9-5 deuce, or maybe jack-10-5 deuce, um, some holding like that. And East has played the four, not because they wanted to follow with a low one to go low-high and show an odd number in the suit, but because they're afraid that their double-ten, the second card they hold, either the jack-10 or nine, might be a very important card. So I think I have a pretty good sense of what's going on in the, in the diamond suit, and that let me make my next play. I next led the seven of diamonds, and West on this trick makes a tiny, tiny, you know, error in judgment maybe, but um, understandable mistake, uh, if you can even call it that, of playing the nine on this trick. We played the king, and he's followed with the ten. So why is the nine of diamonds a mistake? Well, you know, West is still sitting over here on the jack two double ten of diamonds. And because they're sitting behind our a6, it looks as if if we just lead a diamond, we're going to set up a trick for west. But our whole plan this deal is to try and end play west into leading diamonds for us. So the fact that they've provided us with this now major tennis in the suit, the a6 of diamonds, sitting underneath their jack doubleton, if we're able to strip their hand and throw them in at trick 11, to lead a diamond away from their jack two, we'll get the last two diamond tricks. Um, and so we're gonna try and set that up for the remainder of the play. Well, we're over in dummy for a second time. We may as well continue our attack on the club suit. So we lead the nine of clubs. East wins the queen. We discard a heart. And West discards the jack of hearts. Now, West's first discard was the two of hearts. This jack of hearts discard is making me more and more confident that West has the Ace of Hearts. We know that they're trying to protect this four card diamond holding, so they can't pitch from that. We know that they're trying to protect this four card spade holding, possibly, so they can't discard from that. So they do need to discard hearts, but the Jack just feels like such an unusual card to me. Like if 
if they had a holding like queen jack third remaining they wouldn't have dumped the jack they would have dumped the queen if they were trying to unblock or maybe a low one if they weren't trying to unblock um and you know from like jack empty third it feels like there would be no need to dump the jack immediately because they could just lead it whenever they got in later. So it's starting to look as if the Ace of Hearts might be on side, which is good news for us. East returns the Nine of Spades. We now play the Queen. Probably doesn't matter exactly which spade card we play, but I elected to play the Queen, possibly making West think that I started with the King Queen of Spades. I think it's a little unlikely that West truly believes this, but maybe East has tried to induce a misguess from us if they had like ace third over there. It's possible. West falls with the deuce, and again, we perform an important uh, job by unblocking the ten of spades. So now we have these two major tennises, the ace eight double ten of spades and ace six double ten of diamonds, sitting over West's presumed jack doubleton in both suits. This means West is down to two hearts. And so we next lead a heart. West plays the 10. And it's possible that we should be ducking this trick. You know, maybe there's some fringe scenario where East has the Ace of Hearts, and if we duck this trick, the suit gets blocked, and we wind up only down one or something. Whereas if we play the King, East, uh, East can cash out some hearts. Um, but it looks as if, if our count is right on the hand, even if East is able to cash out three hearts, they're going to be end played into leading a club into dummy seven and we'll be able to ditch one of our losers from our hand and just take our two aces at the end. So we hop up with the king, east follows, and now it appears west has made a pretty big blunder because we can cash the seven of clubs, west down to, at this point I will show off the hand, west down to just the ace of hearts, and jack doubleton, both of the pointed suits, is forced to let go of the ace of hearts. We now play a spade to the ace, the eight of spades, and west on lead exits the two of diamonds. And now we can go back all the way to when we led the queen of diamonds, and we unblock that eight from dummy. If the eight of diamonds was sitting here in the north hand instead of this three, we would have to win this trick in dummy with the eight of diamonds. Our ace would become stranded, and east would get the last heart trick. As it is, we fully executed the end play via a strip squeeze, and we were able to take 10 tricks for 100% of the match points on this board. So I'm going to quickly go back through the play uh, with all four hands in view, just so we can see what went wrong for the opponents. Can clubs lead to the ace, 10 of clubs east one, and west is discarded a heart. Um, east switched to the five of spades from nine doubleton, which I think is a bit strange, but that happened. King of spades, west encouraged on this trick, and on the Queen of Diamonds, kind of like I said, West was trying to give a true count signal. Makes sense if they think their partner could have the ace of the suit. We unblock the eight of diamonds, East plays the four, and now when we led the seven of diamonds, West was thinking, oh no, I better cover this with the nine because my jack will always still be sitting behind the ace. This is what ultimately led to their demise, but they still had a chance to recover later in the play. We played a third round of clubs, East took the queen. Second round of spades, we unblocked the 10 once again, and we reached this end position. We led a heart. And here, I don't understand why West made this kind of terrible, awful blunder of playing the 10 on this trick. If they had just played the ace of hearts, and then exited a heart, not only would they get their ace of hearts as a trick, but when we cash the club, we get squeezed in front of them. So whichever suit we elect to pitch from, so does West, and they will ultimately end up taking one of their jacks at the end of the hand, 
We throw a spade, so did they. We play a diamond to the ace, cash the ace of spades, and exit a diamond. We would still make our contract, taking nine tricks, um, although that was always going to happen with us setting up the clubs and the ace of hearts being on side. But when West made the mistake of ducking this trick, we were able to win the king, cash the seven of clubs, and here West got squeezed in three suits um, to some extent. If they pitched either spades or diamonds, we could take two tricks in that suit, followed by another ace, and when they pitched the ace of hearts, kind of prolonging the inevitable here, we were able to throw them in with the fourth round of spades into leading diamonds into us. So that's the hand. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you really like these videos, drop a like, make sure to comment, and I will be making more of them. That's all for now. See you next time.